the devotional of Montville Baptist Church on this Friday, July 24th, 2020, from Call to Glory. There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil. A group of friends went deer hunting and paired off in twos for the day. That night one of the hunters returned alone, staggering under a ten-point buck. Where's Harry, he was asked. Harry had a stroke some miles back up on the path. You left Harry laying there and carried the deer back? Well, said the hunter, I figured no one was going to steal Harry. Every person has priorities in their life and in their home. There are different priorities for different people. The daily ch challenge for the person that desires a Christ-honoring home is to keep the priorities in line with what is pleasing to God and best for the family. There must be intentional planning in order to do this. There is a specific order that God gives when introducing Job to us, and it falls in line with the order of priorities which we should have in our home. God first. Verse 1. The priority of the Christ-honoring home will be God. God will get the number one spot on priority list in every single time. Family second in verse 2. The Christ-honoring home has the first priority of God and the second on the list is family. Occupation third. Verse 3. Our occupation should not be at the top of the list of priorities in our life. If our job is eating up all of our time, and we cannot be faithful to God nor to our family, we are not being a proper steward of our time nor of our family. All of us have a lot to fit into our lives. It is vitally important to be sure that at the top of the list of the priorities, they are in the right order. This is how you can be a Christ honoring home. Our Heavenly Father, we do need to have priorities. And that priority is to make you first. Once we do that, we're like a tire in balance, Lord, and well, things run much smoother for us. But when we get out of, out of balance, our lives are rocky and shaky and just very uncomfortable. So, Lord, help us to understand where our priorities truly lie, and that is with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.